There you are. Hurry up with that manure and be careful with it. It's expensive. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing the best I can. Your best. <laughs> well, since you started last week, it doesn't look like your best is good enough, does it? If it weren't for the fact you were getting a high school credit, I'd fire you right now. Teenagers. <laughs> Say no more. I'm docking you an hour's pay. An hour's? Well, if you're too clumsy to deal with manure, hopefully you can at least do this. That hunk of junk needs to be pruned for the upcoming gardening contest at City Hall. Get to it now. Now? But I now! You know, there really are some people you wouldn't mind if they just... Then again, you could use a good trimming. Didn't I tell you to prune this here, whatchamacallit? I did. I guess I thought I did. Well, thought isn't the same as did, is it? Hey ho, looks like I'm gonna have to dock you another hour's pay until you learn how to do something useful around here. Uh, well, at least you can go and get uh, watering cans, start watering in here right now. Uh, but I think you should take a. I said. Who's mommy's great big bear? <gasps> Ma'am? Miss Bushnell? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, you didn't. I hope you didn't. But I think you did. Bonka, I need you to get down into the greenhouse as fast as you can. I've got trouble. I think I let a plant eat my boss. I make the monsters pay. shining, the foliage is in full bloom, and you know what that means. Yes, everything's peaceful here in Capital City as avid gardeners prepare for tomorrow's big gardening show at City Hall. And this kind of activity makes this reporter ask, is there anything quite as relaxing as puttering about with plants? <laughs> puttering. That's a funny word, isn't it? Okay, tell me again. I already told you. I'm supposed to be doing the special assignment for school on plants. So I took this job here at the plant nursery. But my boss, she is such a slave driver. No, I mean about the plant that supposedly ate her. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Careful, Vanka, that plant means serious business. Has it done anything else unusual today? Well, besides chowing down on people? OK, this is going to sound a little crazy, but I kept thinking it was following me. And when I was clipping it back, it just kept growing. Let me try. Vanka, seems pretty normal. What if I... Whoa! Talk about attitude. This plan seems pretty mad. We should probably back off a little bit. Hey! Let go of my friend! Oh, my homework! Guys, this is insane. I mean, a plant eating an entire person? Plus, it inhaled my pruner, so now it's armed. Did you manage to get any other samples? Wait, I do have another clipping. For my assignment, I put it in... 
The plant ate my assignment. And it's due tomorrow. I don't believe it, guys. What am I gonna tell my teacher? The plant ate my homework? No, you don't understand. If I don't pass botany, I don't get my science credit. And if I don't get my science credit, I don't get into my first choice of university. If I lose that, I can't go into biochemistry. And if I don't go into biochem, my dad will... Yes, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir, we were just... But, 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 sir, how do you already know? Really? Is that... It's Chuck, Chuck Ardlock. That's right, folks. Chuck Ardlock here with a stunning turn of events. It seems that a giant rampaging vine has escaped through the doors of Selma Bushnell's greenhouse and is consuming real estate at an alarming rate. If you ask me... Selma's been juicing those plants with steroids in preparation for tomorrow's gardening show. Oh, it appears... <coughs> yeah, excuse me. It appears that we've lost contact with Chuck Arblock. If you ask me, we Chuck know? Arblock's got it all wrong. This isn't about steroids and plants. It's about something different. Von Steinhauer? Von Steinhauer. It appears that we've lost contact with Chuck Arblock. Whom we wish well on his first assignment as a field reporter. In other Giant vines that just keeps growing and growing? How is that possible? I have never created such a creature. Yes, I've been doing a little gardening lately to, to calm my nerves, but uh, I've never set out to create such a... Wait a minute. Is it possible that... A piece of my peristalsis plant has been zapped by my monster-creating machine? Oh, if that is the case, then if even a spore, a tiny bit of pollen, a tiny sprout were to drift on the wind into that greenhouse, oh, I may have created the perfect destructive creature. Without even trying. <laughs> oh, and if that's the case, I wonder what he could possibly do next. <laughs> Dick Dorman here with the latest on our top story, Vines of Terror. At first, it looked like just a normal day for city worker Jock Barnes as he reported for work in the industrial wastelands near the city's gas lines. But when he got there, he soon realized this was no ordinary day. The entire area had been overrun by giant vines. Stay tuned to CCTN for updates on this terrible situation. Oh, I can see you. What are you doing, little vine? Where are you going? It's destroyed the natural gas lines! <laughs> oh, yes, yes, my pet! Knock out all of the... <laughs> Electricity! Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Is that ridiculous idiot vine really coming right towards this place? Is it possible my own vine is going to wipe me out? But, but there, there has to be a way to stop it. I've got to think of a way to stop it. Uh, just like in the movies. That's it. Did I make a movie about this one time? Oh, attack of the blood-sunking monkeys. Revenge of the giant spider people. Uh, invasion of the praying mantis. Oh, uh, attack of the killer vines. It's about to cross over and block the main road into town, Luke. Do you know what that means? That means, sir, that no car will be able to get past. It means that no car will be able to get past the broccoli. I mean, the plant. That means that anyone trying to get in or out of the city will clearly be in a lot of trouble. Exactly! Yeah, I think this generator's gonna work. Just try turning on the TV. Chuck Hardblock here, folks.
reporting on this amazing story of the giant plant that just won't stop growing. At this point, the vine seems to have completely clogged the main street into Capital City, and it appears to be heading to the older industrial section of town. Uh, Jack? Now, not a single delivery Jack? truck will be able to make it into town. Jack! There's no food, no fuel, no anything coming into the city? But if the city has no power... This could turn out to be Klaus's most effective weapon yet. Uh, Tabby? It's Mrs. Patterson. My science teacher? I hope this works. I hope I find the information I need in my old movie. Looks like the giant vine is coming right towards us. I hope you have a solution on how to get rid of this, Professor. I do, John. I think I do. Hurry up, you gas bag. Oh, I can't believe I let them talk so much in these movies. Come on. How? How did you destroy the killer vines? I think it's important to remember that when we exploded the first atomic bomb, Opened up a doorway. Get to the point, you windbag! John! Dad, I think I've figured a way to stop the giant mine. Finally, the girl might have some brains. If we capture the giant slug that we saw earlier and draw it towards the giant vine, it will naturally eat it and save us all. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Of course. A giant slug. Slugs eat all kinds of vegetation. How hard could it be to whip up a giant slug? Without any electricity. You can't boil it, I guess, or freeze it. Or burn it. As for pesticides, I don't think there's anything we could create that wouldn't... Cut it. What? It says here in my botany textbook. The best way to get rid of an invasive species is to trace it to its main root. Kill it at the source. I mean, it's probably as thick as a tree trunk by now. So we bring an axe. All right. It's monster time. How's this? That'll do. Oh, oh, I've got to keep pedaling as fast as I can. I've got to generate enough electricity. I'm doing it. Yes, yes. It's alive. It's alive. My giant slug, dying on the mother of all salads! Get to that stinking vine before it gets to me! There's the greenhouse, just up there on the left. We've got to stick together. All right, move on three. One, two... Wait! my school project. I might get extra credit. One. Three. Stick together, guys. This isn't going to be pretty. They're fighting back at us. How long have we been chopping? Too long. I don't know how close we are to the main route. It doesn't even feel like we've done anything. It's everywhere. Everything we've cut down is just growing back. But that would mean we're never getting out of here. Boy, talk about really getting into your homework project. There it is. I see it. Uh-oh. Get it off me. Trouble. What is that? 
that. Yes, here he comes. Time to dine, my slimy friend. And it's an all-you-can-eat buffet! <laughs> I can't say for sure, but it looks like a giant slug. We need our monster blasters. No, wait. It's here. I read it earlier. It's... Hang on. Tabby, we really don't have time for this. One second. Giant slug, Tabby, heading right for us. Slugs attack plants. What? It's what it says, and that's what it's doing right now. It's going after the main trunk, and it's sucking its vital fluids. Guys, that's crazy. That's impossible. I don't know, but it just might be. Wait, what's the slug doing now? It got all the nutrients from this thing, and now it's going off looking for more food. We can't let that thing loose on the city. Can you imagine the damage it would do? Let's go. What's going on? I thought the vine was dead. It's your boss. Ma'am, I give you the simplest task, and this is what happens. All right, that's it. I am docking you an entire day's pay and clean up this mess. Ugh. Where could I use a shower? Okay, let's just forget about her. We got a slug to catch. No kidding. It could kill every plant, tree, or shrub in this entire city. Whoa. Tabby? I'm really hoping you have something in there about how to deal with slugs. Uh, sure. They, uh, they eat plants. They're considered pests. And drowning. Most gardeners create a lure for slugs, then coax them into falling into a small dish of water. A small dish of water? Have you seen the size of our friend? The lake is deep enough. But how would we... It's simple. All we need is a car, a grappling hook, and a long length of chain. Okay, come on. Of course, that doesn't answer the question. Where'd that slug come from in the first place? Von Steinhauer, obviously. So he created the vine and the slug that killed it? Why would Von Steinhauer create a creature to destroy his first creature? I don't know, Tab. But if he did, that would mean he's not in full control of his creatures. And if that's true, the city has a more serious problem on its hands than we'd ever thought. grateful this city is for what you kids have done. Superintendent McClellan and I want to send you our heartiest thanks and congratulations. Well, sir, that was, you know, we're just doing what we can to help the city. We were thinking, it's time this city showed its appreciation to you kids, and it, it struck me this morning. Are you ready for this, Luke? Warrior Park. Uh, Warrior Park? Uh, Think about it, Luke. Huh? A playground. A slide, a place for mom and dad. Uh, you know, maybe it's time for his first two-wheeler. Yeah, sir, that's that, that's great. I just, um, I wouldn't want to be too premature on the idea. After all, I think our work here may not be done. Ah, oh, you're being modest, Luke. You uh, just leave it to me. OK. Monster Warrior Park? Superintendent, are you all right?
I guess we should be honored. I just can't help but think that what this city really needs is to find Klaus von Steinhauer and stop him from what he's doing. Antonio, what do you got? A plus. And Mrs. Patterson said she was especially impressed with my section on dealing with giant slugs. Biochem, here I come. Exactly what I was gonna say. What do you mean? This plant has something I don't think von Steinhauer could have created or ever would have thought of creating. Bones. The plant has bones? No, not the plant itself. Uh, these are apparently the remains of something the plant consumed very early on in its rampage. Then what's got you so worried? I ran a quick DNA test. These bones, they're not from any earthly creature. These are the bones of an alien. But that's impossible. Impossible, but it keeps popping up. There's very clearly an alien aspect to this story, Luke. And we've got to do something about it. <laughs>